Uh, uh, I'm back. 146? In case you're uh, tuning into uh, this on YouTube after it's over, uh, I told everyone in the chat that I was going to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee and to time exactly how long it takes me to get the cup of coffee, and it takes 1 minute and 46.77 seconds. I'm like all out of breath because I... Uh, I really tried as hard as I could to do it as quickly as I could, and uh, I, guess, I guess it's not as quick as I thought. I thought it was like a minute. It, it takes a lot longer to get back because you can't like run with a mug of hot coffee in your hand. I'm sure there's some, some AGDQ run of someone running with a cup of coffee. Oh, check this out. Everybody check out this intro. On your empty optimism. Can't build the future on empty optimism. I cannot agree to this. This is uh Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn you've ignorantly blocked my research. That's Dr. Wiley as a young man. Control yourself. So there's like this group I don't understand this. I'm sorry, I haven't uh the department chooses I haven't really been paying uh, too much attention to Mega Man 11. Thank you. I just knew that when it came out, I was going to play it, you know? Why? Why are you fools so blind? Maybe they don't have eyes, Dr. Wily. One day light. Who, who here is a fan of that Mega Man 8 voice acting, that uh, audio atrocities clip, where it's like... Bad memories make the worst dreams. That's a that's a, a ice cold reality right there. I know exactly what he's talking about. I didn't expect this game to go from zero to real at light speed. Is that it? Doctor Wiley has a nightmare, and he wakes up and decides to go kill Doctor Wowie, as he's called. It is pronounced Wowie, not Wiley. You know, oh, this, these options start and quit. I saw these options one day, and I chose. Uh, anyway, let's, let's see what we got here. Uh, Dr. Wiley. Yeah, I really want Dr. Wiley's skull pajamas. Is the uh, image on the right barely visible to anyone? God. It's, yeah, it was like absolutely in the dark for me. I'm gonna make it. How's that? That looks good. You know the thing with these brightness things. Everybody, let me know. The brightness thing in a video game. Do you? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I, I I've talked to a lot of professional video game developers. Uh, I, I you know was one myself and maybe I will be again. Um, you know because we're making a video game. Brent Porter, if you're watching, truck heck baby, truck heck. So um. Uh, Brent Porter and I have talked about this. This whole thing, the icon barely visible, just crank it up, man. It's it's okay if it's not like to me this is barely visible. I can like barely see it. I'm like whatever, man. Like I think visible pretty healthily is good. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um yeah, I don't I'm, calibrating the TV is unfortunately not really an option here because I'm playing through a capture card, through a computer monitor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I know that's not the proper pronunciation of etc. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Special weapon shortcut. Right stick, weapon select. Hey, nice. I'm going to go ahead and use that, probably. Let's do a new game. Um, newcomer. Casual, normal, superhero. I was wondering how far we'd get into the game before we saw the words blue bomber, and there it is. He's not a bomber. He's not an airplane that drops explosives. For those who've never played a Mega Man game, for those who love Mega Man but haven't played in a while, I guess that's me. They're calling me a casual. I mean, for those who haven't played in a while, how how recently could you have played a Mega Man game, or like a new one, right? Because they've been ignoring the character forever. Only the truest, most hardcore. I'm not a true hardcore fan. We're going to go ahead and start on normal. Yes, they could have called the easiest difficulty sub-casual. At the laboratory of Thomas Light, father of modern robot science. Modern robot science. Oh, this is good. 
I like the idea of them showing it. He's like a robot doctor. You're in great shape, man. Oh, Dr. Light has like a good voice now. He's too pro. Block out, like rock out. What's my take on Mega Man Legends? Someone is asking. Are you joking my eyes out? Mega Man Legends is the best. You ever wonder if there's going to be a Namco and Capcom crossover and there's going to be a Pac-Man in the game? You know, you can't spell assassin without the first three letters of assistant. For a robot, you sure do complain a lot? Wow. That's a, that's a weird sentence. Mr. Torchman. Why are all the robots men? Mega Man Legends is phenomenal. If only somebody would make a game that looks exactly like Mega Man Legends 3 and kickstart it. Mega Man in a shirt and shoes? I guess he's getting service. You know what I mean? Unlike my phone right now, T-Mobile. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Wily is, is Robotnik. He's, he's robotnik and out up here. Look at that. I got a cup of coffee now. Device. It can't be. You know what? I got my Xbox One Elite controller in my hand, and uh, I just kind of wish I was playing Forza right now. I totally beefed up my Nissan Skyline, and it can go like it can it can it tops out at like 228. It's like driving a god darn F1 car. Oh, so you gonna take all of these robots? Run and hide because <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Doctor Light's like my 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 friend Doctor Wiley's cooler than me. Don't don't let him chill with you. So the invention he was trying to invent years ago. Mega Man sounds too tough. I prefer his like two-year-old girl voice that he had in Mega Man Eight. If everybody, if you haven't seen cutscenes from Mega Man 8, you have to. You just have to. Oh, the double gear system. So they objected to Dr. So the double gear system is the, I know this one thing about this game. It's like there's a slow motion. You can turn on slow motion so that stuff is slower. It's like Mega Man's new power. I can tell you Double gear. But uh, that's like his new power. So like we're, we're being led to believe in the opening cutscene that Dr. Wily was inventing a machine for slowing down time and all the robot uh, scientists in the world instantly rejected the idea as being unethical. But they continue to make robots like Torch Man and Cut Man. So the like... Like, so the reason Dr. Wily went evil is because they wouldn't let him invent this machine to control time. They really, they made a bad bet on this guy. They made a really bad bet. That's, uh... Oh, and so now he looks like Mega Man again? Mega Buddy! Are you my old pal, or are you just some guy who showed up? Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. I'm doing a noble thing. Go kill that individual human. I only love robots. Go kill my human friend. It seems to me like Wiley, Dr. Wiley and Dr. Light just gotta hug it out, bro. Let's see a view explanation of the double gear system. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and put my triggers on hair trigger. Press RB to activate the speed gear, press LB to activate the power gear. Heck. 
Okay, so I get my gear. Oh, heck. Wait, what? That's a lot of text in different places on the screen. Press RB to activate speed gear. Press LB to activate power gear. Oh, Mega Man. Oh man, it's like re in the tutorial there on the right, it's recommending that I use the analog stick instead of the D-pad. I will say, nice responsive controls, feels good. Um, what? Speed up. So speed up, he has to say speed up really loudly so that I understand that this slowdown means that uh, he's moving faster than the enemy. It's like a relative speed up. Because the represented discreetly, the speed would be such that he's just warping across the entire level. Okay, so the gears charge up. So if I turn the gear off, Okay, so I, I just basically have to look at the gear. Okay, hold on. When I first saw this system explained in a... In... A little video, I thought it was stupid. But now that I know I have, like, unlimited use of them... I just have to turn them off. Oh, wait, it overheated? Wait, I couldn't see it overheating. Because there's the little red gauge. Does everybody see the red gauge under the two bars? I swear I'm almost done with this, I swear. Okay, so... So I have to wait until the gear charges up. I can turn it off now, okay. So then I can... It takes m far longer to cool down when it overheats than it does. So this, the slowdown gear is... Like, it heats up really fast. Okay, so... Uh, it cools down at about half. Okay, so I think it's exactly half the speed of the cooldown. I think it's exactly half the speed. Like, so if it if it overheats, it heats down at half the speed that it would... Or it cools down at half the speed, it would cool down. Not overheated. The double gear technique. What's the technique? There's actually a technique? You can press LBRB to activate both gears at once. The double gear technique. Your speed and power will both get boosted. Once activated, there's no canceling it. Ah, uh, okay. Only when I'm low on life. Okay, so I got double gear. Yeah, but he still kind of has this frustrating reach. Okay. It might just save me in a pinch. I don't need to be saved in a pinch. I would rather die in a pinch. Well, here's the dream of Mega Man. The dream is... Uh, I remember when kids were looking at the video game magazines on the playground schoolyard, the schoolyard playground, whatever it was called, and they were like, Mega Man rules because you get to choose levels. And this was back when you had to go with the video games that the video store had, and our video store did not have Mega Man. So I have no sentimental attachment to the original Mega Man games. The first Mega Man game I played, well, it was Mega Man 1, but Mega Man 3 was already out. So I'd played a lot of really hot games before I played Mega Man 1. So it's just at expecting me to pick a character right away. This text is like really blown out. Like this white on blue is kind of not a good contrast choice. We're going to go with Blockman because he's the one that was being picked. That was being, uh, having his doctor check up right at the beginning of the game. I love Blockman. I hope his level is full of blocks. Oh, this one was in the trailer. They were really proud of this. Oh, blocks falling from the sky. Man, what are they going to think of next? Am I right? Got a slide. Oh, crikey. That guy sucked. Okay, hold on. Okay, hit that guy now. Oh, my God. This is just your classic uh, next-gen video game right here. Shouldn't speed gear make me jump higher? No. No. So it's like I can't I can't get up there. There's not even like a slide jump that'll get me up there. No dash either because this isn't Mega Man X. So in other words, they're just showing me something I can't get like immediately. Like usually like 
This is the whole, uh, the whole, give me something good first, right? Oh, that guy only takes like a few little piddly hits. Bullseye, I got a bullseye. There's a rush? <laughs> Where's rush? How do I use rush? Oh, I just killed some creepy eye that was hiding in the... Oh, heck oh. You're going to need to die. So, if I'm not mistaken, did, was that intro some sort of a... Oh, there is Rush! Can I go back? I'm not going to go back. Forget it. Bye, Rush. They didn't tell me I had Rush. Give me some big old tutorial. All right, am I expected to have watched all the trailers? Okay, but Rush ain't free. Do you guys realize that if I was playing Forza right now, I would I would be going I would be running laps around the city of Edinburgh, Scotland. But I would be pronouncing it Edinburgh to make viewers of the archive really upset. Let's take a look. Oh heck. Oh good old I love I love spamming ladders. Wow, can I is is Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Mega Man games are all about the game design just kind of fighting against you. Can I not? What? I'm sorry. I'm having what I believe is an electrical malfunction on the controller. I was not able to jump. Okay, I'm jumping. I'm jumping correctly. This game looks very much like a 3D. Was that just a free energy tank from killing an enemy? Alright. So, some of these enemies have this super hand-drawn look. Oh, I don't want to do that. I guess I should be using these gears. But it's kind of like... Oh, for God's sake. It's like Rewind in Forza. It's like, I feel like it's the noob option. Okay. I was going to try to see how daring I can get. How hot can my action get was the question I wanted to answer. Look at that. That's how hot my action can get. Does everybody know what I'm talking about when I say how hot can my action get? It's a reference to the Devil May Cry 4 subway advertisements in Tokyo back at the time of that game's release. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep trying to like get really close to try and use the speed gear like an idiot, but I'm not, not going to do it. Should I power gear this guy? Oh, he's dead. I'm playing this game on uh, Steam, actually. Because Steam is the best, am I right? It's all about PC gaming. Is what they want you to think. Okay, okay. should I rush jump? Give me that rush. Ooh. Rush guided me to my robo hamburgers. Did they release this for Vita? Someone asked. Really good question. Uh, does Sony know that the Vita exists? Is the real question. Okay, Rush, please go away, because you were distracting from my attacks. This enemy sucks. This is a classic example of the programmer can do it video game design. The person who programmed that enemy just shoot through the wall. That's a Mega Man staple. Like I'm saying, I have I have no sentimental attachment to Mega Man games because I didn't play them until Mega Man 3 was already out, and I played Mega Man 1 and I just kind of saw it as sort of like a sort of like a Jackie Mario. It's like not I'm supposed to use the speed gear here, probably. Whoa, baby, you're gonna need to not do that. Oh, this is some real what? I'm sorry, I was I was uh, not fitting through that little hole there. One life left. Crikey. Yeah, let's see, this is right here. This is just macaroni and cheese buffet table game design. This guy's just sitting here. It's like I have to be really, really bored, really frustrated, and in an extreme hurry uh, in order to get hit by this guy. You have to have a lot going on in your life to get hit by this enemy, right? Like, I mean, look at him. 
old school game design critics call this uh, they call this uh, a monster on a shelf. It's a monster on a shelf. So he's just kind of sitting there, and it's like if you walk up to him, that's that's what it takes to get hit by that guy. But he has like a little jumping pad on his back, so I can actually use him as a jumping pad. I kind of want to. Should I go off the screen and oh, I can't go off the screen and come back. Never mind. So I traded a little bit of my uh, rush power for some health there. Classic case of the programmer can do a game design is this right here. So I can stand here and I can spam this guy. Spam burger, hamburger. There we go. Give me that little thing there. Got a nut. You have to be really bored to die here. Ghost little points out, get bored and die. Yeah. Classic action button dot net. Uh, action button dot net. Uh, criticism metric is uh, how likely is boredom to be the cause of your death. It was the game Dead Space that made me think of that. Okay. I cannot get in that hole. I cannot get in that hole. Oh, did you hear Mega Man scream? Oh, speed gear can help with the wheel guys. Wait, let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Mega Man sounds like uh, he's in a hentai. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going here. All right, so speed gear can help with the wheel guys. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, no, it's just going to help me get straight crushed. It's going to help me get hamburger owned. Okay, that does help. But my gear has over... No, it hasn't overheated. It has not overheated. Oh, yeah, just... <laughs> Am I supposed to use power gear on that guy? So if I'm speed running, as I'm sure many people will be quite inspired to speed run this game because it's a Mega Man. Oh, man. Having the quake there when it hits the ground... The shockwave, like, causes me to freeze. Like, I don't like that. Oh, crikey -o. I cannot... Okay, I did it. Turn the speed gear... Oh! <laughs> you got your neck broke, punk! Did you see that? It's like, you don't know about this video game. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... You can bypass the third chunk of obstacles. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to actually use the gears, the double gear system. Man, so in my opinion, and I don't want to hate. Oh, that guy just he, he didn't want to fight me at all. He just went right off the edge. In my opinion, and I don't want to hate. All due respect, I, um, Mega Man games uh, rely a lot upon surprise, you know. Upon the whole, uh, uh, this, this block just fell out of the sky on you, idiot. So you can only fire three before there's a mild cooldown. Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> I tried to... Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is like this tiny, tiny little window. There we go. Mr. Cheese Wheel's dead. All right, let's, uh, let's actually do this now. I'm having a good time with Mega Man 11. I was ex Oh, yeah, don't you try that. Guy thinking he's clever. Oh, no. Like, this is a, a real limp challenge here. It's a real limp noodle. Like, look at this. Oh, no. I can only shoot him a couple of times. Oh, look at that. Speed gear will kind of do the same thing as power gear, I believe, in that case. My gears are back. Gears of war. Oh, wait. No, he's just not going to open up. Oh, okay. He's my buddy. Go ahead and eat that robo burger. We're gonna, I'm going to not get my neck broke this time. Hey, I'm almost right back where I was. Okay. What? Oh, my gears are overheated. Hot gears? Oh, you got straight owned, idiot. Oh, look at that. And my gear is not overheated. Oh, I guess I just invited this guy to my birthday party. Oh, heck. 
And then look at these. What are what are these these impotent, ineffectual things supposed to be? They're just quote unquote enemies. Yeah, Mega Man games are all about being rude. They just like kind of being like, oh, oops, did I just get hit? I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat. I was reading the chat and I got owned. Yeah, if these are supposed to be Mega Man's equivalent of Castlevania's Medusa heads, I ain't interested. Because they don't really seem all too exciting. Can you imagine if one of those blocks hit me? Okay, so I've undone my gear. Okay, I just want to... Ah, oh, I've overheated. Hot gears? Look at that, I did it. I'm Mega Man now. Ah, oh, man. How do I kill this guy? <laughs> How do I kill him? Okay, I'm going to actually try to do the challenging method. Hey! We done did it, everybody. Okay, but now I don't really... I can't clear him. I use, I can use my speed gear if I want to jump on that. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. All right, he can't fit through that hole. Oh, he can fit through that hole. Heck, a Reno. All right. Okay, I can give myself a little bit more room to get the squeeze on. Oh, yeah, you got wasted. How does it feel to be turned into trash by the blue bomber? Okay, I, I mean, I, I needed... I appreciated the venue to practice my mastery of the collision. Can I jump between this? Okay, hold on. Okay, you know what? I've decided I don't like this guy. Okay, so he's dead. So I'm going to actually practice. I'm, I'm not joking. I want to actually try to practice threading this needle. I feel like Mega Man's hitbox is slightly larger. There we go. See? That's one. One out of six attempts. One out of seven. One out of eight. This it does not bode well. Wow. Yeah, you basically need to be stationary to get through. Oh, there we go. Okay. I found the pixel, everyone. Okay. It's uh, it's too bad there's going to be a moment very soon where I absolutely have to fit in the exact correct pixel. <laughs> I ran under that thing. All right. Can this thing kill me by falling on me? I believe it can. Ah. I really don't need the shockwave to destabilize my Mega Man there. Oh my god. Ah, oh, hecko. Yeah, okay, see that actually, that feels like something. Oh, you freak Mega Man. Oh, well, why is the last one? Oh, that's not the last one. I'm trying to get traction, aren't I? Oh, my gear's overheated. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's a little bit too hard to, to fit through that hole, man. I can't be the only person who thinks that. So. Yeah, it is very hard. It's But it's not hard in like a fun way. Try shooting the block. Yeah, I'm on normal difficulty. I'm not turning it up. A very authentic Mega Man game, and I don't mean that as a compliment, says Desiccant in the chat. Yeah. How do I kill this guy? This guy with his big old pumpkin head, Jack O' Lantern looking skull. Oh, these are blocks. So, one, one phrase that gets thrown around a lot in the game design community is visual language, right? So I'm walking on these green blocks, right? And then these slightly lighter green blocks are ones I can't. Uh, whoa! That was rude. Um, so it's like the darker green is a color I can't uh, pass through. So I'm preserving my gears. Okay. Turn the gear off. 
Oh, if it, it, I, I was hoping it was going to just drop a level design on top of me. I need you dead. Man, am I going to unlock a power-up? So it's like I can shoot through this. But the gray blocks, uh, they eat my bullets. And then they get destroyed. So I made it through. We made it through, everyone. Um, oh, now the, the sinister plan is revealed. I really thought that I was going to kill that guy. It's like that guy eats so many bullets that it's just like unmuscle memorizable. Like how many... What? Hey, at least there's like some dust in the... Oh my lord. The stupid looking jellyfish thing. Or whatever he's supposed to be. Space burger. Oh, heck. Was he just going to come back? My spelunky ghost here. That if I just stand still, he's going to kill me. Oh my god, I didn't even see that guy. What the heck? What the heck? I'm going to... I'm going to scream. What? All the way back here? Okay, whatever. Not killing that guy this time. All right, let's say about actually moving fast. Is it just me or is the power gear kind of dumb? Oh, crikey. If only I could dash like in Mega Man X. That wouldn't be new, like slowing down time, though. I feel like I should be able to hit that with my head like Mario. I know I'm gonna get crushed. No, I didn't get crushed. That was nice. This this game has officially set a low bar for nice, where it's like I didn't get crushed. Nice. You're just gonna have to hit me, bro. Because I don't have any of my gears left. The gears that the game has so cruelly. Wow. That block just. Okay, so I just want to take a moment. Oh my god. I feel like I didn't jump. Wow. I just want to take a moment to appreciate that I'm in a... There's a robot master named Block Man in a platform game. A genre of game typically very blockful. Oh my lord. What the heck, dude? Okay. I swear... It's not my fault. I can beat pretty much all the Mega Man X games, okay? Uh, it's like I get to the edge of a platform and I just kind of can't jump sometimes. I swear it's not my fault. It's not going to give me a power-up. Block In Blockman stage, there's just blocks fall from the sky. I'm going to get killed by some stupid punk monster. Not even like a big monster. Some tiny freak. Oh, that guy got wasted. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Look at that ziggurat. Isn't that beautiful? I don't believe I have an E-Tank, do I? I've got zero. I picked up something that looked like an E-Tank, but they didn't call it that. They didn't actually give me one. Oh, good. It's another one of these guys. Oh. Uh, excellent. That's an excellent place to game over. Lord. I'm sorry. What do I do at Dr. Light's lab? Let's take a look. Ah, Mega Man. I've made a breakthrough. I can now create new items for you. Oh, yeah? Okay, new items that... You're going to just insinuate new items? Wow. Refills your energy and all weapon gauges using this when your gauges are all full. will change all weak on-screen enemies into one-ups. That's the word all three times in one item description. So Dr. Light, he needs these bolts 
to make this stuff. It's not a currency that he's, he's not making me pay. Halves all damage taken in a stage. The effect ends when you die or complete the stage. Yo, Can I interest you in some parts? Oh yeah? So wait, are these one time use? Or are these like perma upgrades? Oh, you can purchase this thing that lets you use double gear all the time by, uh, I guess that's for speed runners. Yeah, I think these are all permanent. They have to be. Increases Mega Buster's energy output, makes shots a little bigger, so they're more likely to hit enemies. Wow. Auto charges the Mega Buster. Shooting normally while charging will reset the charge process. In 20XX, that's like an option in the menu. Yes, I'm pretty sure in the Japanese version they call you Rock. A mysterious device that provides a special bonus when you complete a stage in a short time. That's three ambiguous adjectives in one sentence. Mysterious, special, and short. Buddy call. The number of Eddie calls and beat calls you can hold. Yeah. Increase the maximum number of energy tanks. Should I buy? Let's buy the Buster Plus. Sure this is what you want, buddy? Yeah. Don't you ever call me buddy again, though, by the way. Or I'll rip your robotic lungs out. Uh, We're going to go ahead and just exit. All right. So now I've purchased a thing that makes my bullets bigger. If only I had 300 more, I could get the auto charger. Oh, my God. My bullets are huge. My, my <laughs> oh, this guy's still an idiot, though. Hey, I got him. Oh, yeah, see, now it's starting to look like the sort of game I would play. I got those bolts because now I can buy more stuff. My bullets are these big, huge, like, big honk and big deme demonic fireballs. Well, I just wasted my life on this guy. Okay. Ace in the hole, buddy. Yeah, I'll buy some energy tanks soon. Yeah, power gear is a... Uh, I haven't really... I feel like... Mega Man... Enemies are all about just geometrical superiority, not like sheer power. And I feel like power gear is going to be something I would intuitively use in boss battles. And I have not yet obtained the intuition to use it during just the regular enemy fights. Like, I don't know how to power gear that guy, right? He takes one hit. It's just all about, do you have the geometry? Do you have the opportunity to hit him? And it's like, this guy, you gotta be straight wild in your, you know, your eyes out, like with these guys. It's all about, oh, I guess I just invited this guy to my birthday party. Let's see if I can ping him in the back with my power gear. No, I didn't time that correctly. That's the sort of design that looks really fun on paper. The idea of, oh, he's got just a little tiny window. This is Mighty Number no. 9 Part 2. Uh, Mighty Number no. 10, I believe it's called. You, like, let's face it, everybody. You know Capcom only made this game because of Mighty Number no. 9. They saw Mighty Number no. 9 and they were like, oh, so the guy who created Mega Man is making a Mega Man? And then they probably started making this, like, immediately. The day... The day that they, the Kickstarter went live for Mighty Number no. 9. Okay, so... Okay, gotta turn the gear off. Gotta turn the gear off. Uh, before... Oh, he's still on the bottom. Heck, oh. What? I just stand still and die? I got bored, I'm sorry. There you go, you're owned, punk. So yeah, they saw. They they saw Mighty Number no. Nine. They're like, oh, we'll show them. And they started making their own Mega Man game, and it just took them like way longer than it took them to make Mighty Number no. Nine. So nobody really uh, like they just didn't announce it. And Mighty Number no. Nine took like what was that like six years? 
to make. That's a joke. It was like three years. So Capcom just got all... Uh, they got all lawyerly when they saw Mighty Number no. 9. And they're like, well, we can't sue them. Because the game's not really that original to begin with. It's just a robot shooting stuff. Robot killing robots. A heart cell hating a lung cell. That was a reference to a movie. If anybody knows what. Say so in the chat. Oh, it's my favorite one. <gasps> I hate this. Oh my lord, I missed the hole. I did it. Oh heck. Oh heck. Okay. I got him. I got him. Oh hey friend. Just go on over there, would you? I need my gear to stop being uh punishment doesn't fit the crime. Oh. <laughs> I just walk. I just like let him punish me to death. I don't know what that is. I just picked up some sort of a intergalactic pizza. You know what? I wasn't one of those people who hated on Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, for God's sake! I I I can't lie. I really hate this enemy. And then this guy being over here, it doesn't force me to, like, choose one over the other. Look at that. Just trying to get creative with it. In, in so much as one can here. So it's like I need to preserve my speed gear for, like, right here. I have a new tactic for... Oh, oh my god. I'm going to get my neck broke. No, I made it. See, it's what I call, like, so there's some dirty level design here. It's like, if I'm right here, it's not going to spawn the thing, right? There's, like, a, a trigger volume, an invisible trigger that I step into that will stop it from spawning those big gauntlet objects, right? So it's like, if I cross that, that green line up there where the wall, where the ceiling opens it won't spawn those things that fall down. So it's like an invisible trigger. Just makes the whole prospect. Ooh! Okay, I need the achievement to go off there so I can see that's not a hole. Thank you. I knew it wasn't a hole. I just wanted to illustrate a point. So this right here is what I call an availability bucket. An enemy, you can see that there's an enemy available. It's like asking you to click on him to uh, to reveal the price on Amazon. Oh, crikey. I, again, I swear there's something weird about... Ooh! Block helped me down there. These lethargic speed Medusa gear. heads. Ooh. So speed gear was good. I saw someone... Oh! <gasps> you freak monster oh my god god in heaven these enemies their their job is to kill you if you forget to take your pill those guys there it's like oh if the player stands still we're gonna show him okay they're like there to incentivize to like force the player's hands toward engaging with the new oh god some nonsense monster. Some monster. Tumbling down these floors. Alright. Well, he really has a wild time unleashing that thing. Alright. Alright. Well, my bullets are more likely to hit enemies now, by the way. Look at that. That is how you use the speed gear, friends. Oh, look at that ziggurat. I believe we've been here before. Oh. Wow, are you actually kidding? 
I have to like fight this guy on this conveyor belt. I actually have to fight him. I don't want to fight this guy. This guy sucks. And my gears. My gears are hot. Man, this sucks. I don't want to fight this guy here or anywhere. Can't move now. Ah, okay. Uh, I really, really hate that fight. That is a bad fight. Am I supposed to come back with like a power up of some sort? Like that's that's just not like it doesn't really seem fun. I mean, I know you're not supposed to use the word fun when you're describing video games because it's subjective and such. Fun isn't the law, at least not around here. New York City, I'm saying. But uh it would help. It would it would be you know what it would be? It would be a lovely gesture is what it would be. Oh my god. Oh for God's sake. Oh for God's sake. So that's the one way to do that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Should I play casual mode? I don't want to play casual mode. Oh. Like, I want to try another stage, right? I want to. I want to. But do I want to just throw away everything that I learned about this stage? Chances are another stage is not going to be easier. Those disappointed in this game should know that Marble It Up on the Switch is the best marble rolling game maybe ever, says Miles Jacob. You know what? I was going to play that instead. But you know why I didn't? It was $20. Meanwhile, this was free. Playing this game because it was free. That's that's the true reason here. You know what rules about getting free games? Is uh, hating on them. I've made a breakthrough. Oh, you've made a breakthrough? Didn't you already tell me that? Did you have an aneurysm between the, the the last time we met and now? All right, what do we got? Um. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? You're just gonna call me Mega? Are you sure? Yeah. Give me the E tank, bro. Good luck out there, Mega. Please call me Mega Man. Mega is my son. Did he say, yo, Mega? Did everybody like my joke where I said, Mega, <laughs> Mega was my son? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Come on, somebody. Yeah, oh, we got an LMAO about that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's a little spin on the blank is my father, right? Okay, <laughs> A shock absorber negates the recoil and firing a high-powered Mega Buster shot. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, everybody's talking about Marble It Up in the chat. God, I want it. Hey, developers of Marble It Up, if you're watching this stream, send me a code in the next 10 minutes. Um, auto-charge chip? You know what? I hate this. I hate it. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, give it to me. I'm taking... I, I don't like that. Okay, so... First of all, these are really hand-drawn looking. And highlighting them, do you see? It just zooms them in by like... Like... 5%. You see this? Oh, it just kind of throbs in. And then it washes them in this white glow. Don't do Torchman. Torchman stage might be the worst stage in the game. Y you're kind of selling me on Torchman. It's Mighty Number no. 9 nonsense. You know, yeah, Mega Man's eyes have always followed the cursor. But, uh, does he have strabismus? Like, do you see this? Like, the one eye? Hey, everybody, I'm like, I'm like 70% of the way toward being a, uh, uh, an ophthalmologist at this point. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Let's see what we got. Torch Man, I'm gonna have a bad time. So wait, who else do we have? I can't read these names because on the monitor... <laughs> On the computer monitor I'm using, they're like, uh, they're like, so, 
It's so washed out. Does that say... I had to lean in real close. Bounce man. The bounce castle. Yesterday we were walking through my neighborhood and there was a church... Uh, or not yesterday, Sunday. God, I don't know what day it is, man. So, we were walking through my neighborhood and I live very close to uh, St. Michael's Roman Catholic Church in Brooklyn in Sunset Park. It's a church from the Civil War era and there's a big bouncy castle and I said... Uh, don't don't trust a church bouncy castle. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday. Um, so, bounce man is he a bouncy castle man? Look at him. You see that silhouette? Blast man sounds like a blast. Bounce man is bouncing around. Tundra man is a uh, just built Toyota tough. Impact man uh, is uh, the internet's favorite font. Torch man, light it up, buddy. Uh, Fuse Man is keeping it together. Acid Man is a sick burn. And Block Man, get out of my way. There you go. That's my off the top of my head bad jokes. Off the top. Because, you know, if you don't take it off the top, you treat it like a barber. Um, so, who do we want? I'm going to give everyone... I'm going to give the chat 30 seconds. We're going to sit here. Or not 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Just like... You know, like, everybody just tell me the stage. Toyota Tundra, Beverly Bounce House, Marble It Up. Is there a Marble Man? Acid Man? Oh, man, are you tripping? Marble Man? The level from before. Game Informer already did Bounce Man? Well, those guys, they have the information. You can't even make a joke about the name of the website that uh, that I'm representing right now. Except to be like Kotaku. But Game Informer, they could just... Uh, I once suggested to... Uh, people at Game Informer when I was at their office once because I was showing my own video game there. I said, have you ever thought of just changing, of just, <laughs> of just publishing a book <laughs> and calling it Game Information? <laughs> Kotako. All right. Okay. I don't know what stage to do. It's decision paralysis. This is part of the reason why, I mean, I remember the playground conversation about Mega Man was, was, uh, it was like, oh, you get to choose your level dude it's like i was like maybe you know maybe that means it's not it's not good maybe that means none of the stages are that good uh i don't want to hate on mega man venerable game series oh did someone in the chat get banned for typing kotaku.com because no links allowed <laughs> What is the correct choice? What is the stage I'm supposed to beat first? Can someone look this up? I am I am shackled to a desk in pretty much in a fighter jet cockpit here. Like I can't access the internet. I only have this window with the chat. Block then acid. Blockman's the one I'm supposed to do first? Really? I do really want to hate on Mega Man, but I want to do so carefully, slowly, thoroughly, adequately, and credibly. Tundra Man, yeah, he is. Tundra Man is exiting the uh, the cursor zone. Haplar says Block Man, Fuse Man, Blast Man, Bounce Man, Torch Man, Tundra Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Block Man. Torch the porch off, Tundra Man. Torch, 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 torch. Oh no. I will not die to I was born stupid, however, I will not die to bounce man. I don't know what stage to play. I don't want to play any of them. IGN says block first. Is there a second one? Is there a second one? I I can't uh, Block Man is not fun. People want Torch Man? Torch Man the worst stage in the game, as I've been told? Blast Man and Torch Man are just wardens of the southwest and the northeast here. The two, they're keeping it hot in the corners. I remember when they unveiled hot corners in Mac OS. Oh, here we get the, the famous music. 
Oh, such disturbingly smooth movements. All right. Oh, man. Is it some sort of ruins? I just killed somebody's tent. Man, some some monster robot was just like camping out in there. Oh, is this like the... the <laughs> he just straight up fell in that hole. Die, tent. Dr. Wily is sleeping in that tent, and every time you shoot one, he uses his speed warp to jump really far away. Do I need to rush jump over this? Because, I mean, this is a fraction of the screen that one... What? Okay, he definitely... I definitely, definitely pressed the button. Oh, I'm loving it like McDonald's. Jump less poorly? Don't tell me I'm jumping poorly. I'm jumping like... What? Are you kidding? Bounce Man is good for jumping. We're going to do this one more time. I'm just wilding out here. I don't know what I'm doing. Those tents go down so easy. Like an ice cold Coca-Cola Zero. I'm off the artificial... Wait, there, are the b rabbits inside of the tents? That guy just like... He's like, I'm going to show you how much I... Okay, you have to jump at the last possible pixel there. Oh, they weren't kidding about the torches. Oh, the face on the torch is great. Look at that. That's fantastic. Put a face on it. Dot com. Nobody type that in the chat because you'll get banned. <laughs> you'll get banned for links. So there's just miscellaneous enemies inside of the inside of the tents. This is some real whiteboard video game design. I'm not even kidding. It's like, they're like, what are our stages? And someone working on the game was like, I went camping last week. Oh, he only drops fire in the hole. Because that's where the devil is. The devil's down in that hole. What? <laughs> he just like, oh my God. You know how they say you just do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different response, etc., etc.? I thought he was just an idiot doing the same thing over and over again, and then he, like, learned. Okay, so I don't understand the hitbox on this guy. It's like he pops, like, it juts up. He, he's got an armored front, armored top. I recoiled him to death. Thou hast been owned. Is that fire? Whoa! That firewall is uh, more vicious than the one that prevents me from playing Forza online here in the office. Okay. Are we all ready for the final pixel? You just come on over, buddy. He's like, I'm going to show you. <laughs> it's just an old... Man, I actually have not... I can't believe I, I fell down in the hole again. Uh, oh my god, the tent electrocuted me. Hey, get in that hole, man. Devil's down there. I don't want to hurt those guys because they just look like they're blasting fire having a good time. Or they're not having a good time. They look like they're just not enjoying their life. And I can sympathize. What? I really thought that dude was going to get owned. I'm going to let this guy keep dropping fire on me. He's going to be my... Uh, I thought he was going to just be my personal... My personal trainer. Mm. Why can't you wall jump like an X? Yeah, good question. Should I keep going in this stage or should I go to bounce man should I go to bounce man okay VTN Wesley feels very strongly against this stage bounce man bounce okay let's go to bounce man god dang it bounce man bounce man bounce man is my friend he looks like he's in the game arms doesn't he he looks like he's like 
He looks like that Mr. DNA. Mr. DNA, the best. <gasps> I love it. This is better than a bouncy castle at church. Wait. Oh, no, wait, hold on. If I land on it. Wait, it was making me jump, and now it's not making me jump. Do I have to charge the potential energy? Did anybody notice that... Is that an E-tank? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, you need to jump on it from a height. Okay. Are these bouncy? Oh, no. Oh, man. Can we just all appreciate the sort of jankiness of these... Uh, the animation. There's, like, no animation on this thing. And it's the gradient. It's just, like, like a white shine up in the upper right corner. Okay, I know what to do. Yeah, that's the broing's broing. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, we were doing so well, M M Mega Man. Okay, hold on. Up and... Oh, daddy's dead.com. Come on. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is my video game now. <laughs> this is what I like. All right. <laughs> Come on, man. Hold on. Ugh. I don't under... Wait, okay, I know what to do. I, I know exactly what to do. This has got... This is like a puzzle platformer. And now I get more height. Oh, no. It's binary. It's just a... This is a higher jump than that jump. Oh! You gotta press the jump button. Exactly. Someone says try shooting the, the bouncy balls. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. Um... Yeah, I feel... We got, uh... We got some people in the chat uh, who are sad about having bought the game. Wesley. Um, what? Wesley did not enjoy the game. Oh, so now I've reached level three of Bounce Man bounciness. And this is good. Jiff this, buddy. Oh, hey, I wanted to say before the chat starts, yeah, give me that cheese. I, I want a... Uh, if, if people could start using that highlight option to highlight stuff, it would make it really easy for me to just like cut together a, uh, a digest of these. And then I could put them onto YouTube and uh, be like, here's the highlights from my stream chosen by you, the viewer. Because you know how there's like a little, you can press like a little button. It's like, I don't I can't do it myself because I'm, I'm playing the game. Oh, you can't shoot those. Like, but if we if we could get some highlights, are those my balloons? Are those my big boy balloons? Oh my god, the balloon hurt me. I haven't been this hurt by a balloon since the bullies kept popping them behind my head. Oh, did I just get? I don't know what that achievement is because the font is too small for my disgustingly destroyed eyes. These guys are just the standard. They just hang out with any robot master who will uh, who will have them. Three, two. What? Well, crikey, I don't understand. Mega Man just ineffectually. Oh! Now or never? What? I hate this. What? What am I supposed to do? Do I let this thing hit me? Oh! Bounce Man is all about jumping. I gotta say, this is... It is better than a bouncy castle at church. Mega Man 11? A little bit better than having a birthday party at church. <laughs> no offense to church. If anybody here goes to church, it's okay. I just couldn't hang out at church. Because I couldn't hang out anywhere when I was a kid. Not even at church. Man, I'm sorry. This It feels kind of like a student video game. It feels like... Like professors at Bennett Foddy University. I'll have to start the whole level over. Like, tasked their students with the creation of a Mega Man game. Just a mean-spirited challenge. Like, a mean-spirited... Make a stupid Mega Man game, you rubes. Like, and make it bad. Like, that's what that one segment up there felt like. It's like... 
But then again, Mega Man has always again, I, I again, no sentimentality for Mega Man. I don't I don't have it. And it's not I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just I went to it having already played Super Mario Brothers 3, you know. Like Ooh. Jackpot. But it's just like it it's missing like animations and such in places that just are not endearing to me. Like there's there's no tell on these these balloons. Crikey. Oh my lord. Like getting through this hole is just not fun. Not all Okay, hit me. Hit me. What? Oh, I have to hit the hand. Are you what? And this guy's just like custom designed to just bother me. Okay, I have to like pull hard to the left. Oh my <sighs> Meat is back on the menu, boys. I don't know what button to press. Previously I did it on accident. Hit me! Slap me. Slap me. Oh, see, it, what, what, what? It worked. Try facing the left, I'm told. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get in here. Get in the ball pit with your brothers now. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, hey. Well, the monster closet has been uh, cleaned. Okay. Here we go. So, see, here's what I'm saying. But there's, there's, like, no tell. It's like these things vibrate for like a second but it's like if I touch them like there's like no sweet spot for knowing when I'm gonna bounce really high I wish Grand Pooh Bear were here Wait, I should I should ask him about this Grand Pooh Bear would have some things to say um hold on okay just come on give me the come on buddy there we go there's it's so hard to tell exactly where all right, get in the ball pit with your brothers. Our brother's back. He finished his French fries. And <laughs> he's back in the ball pit. Okay. <laughs> Having a really good time here. I'm making a video about Mario Party. It's really depressing because it's like this is what Mario Party's like when you play by yourself. It's <laughs> how much fun can I have? And then there's uh, there's these mini games where it's like Mario Party's great. The new Mario Party, whatever. Okay, hit me, hit me. Come on, hit me, buddy, hit me. Oh, yeah, don't touch the shocking balloons. There's like no, is there no parallaxing going on in the background? No, there is, it's just. Oh, man. Oh! I got denied by some thing that doesn't even have any animation on it. Hit me, please, please hit me. Oh, I want that extra mega. But how much do I want it? Can I bounce on these? No! Visual language, once again. We're talking about visual language here on Kotaku.com. Yeah, the bouncy wall jumping feels kind of like something. So, these look like balloons, but the ones that look more like balloons, that look actually exactly like balloons, aren't bouncy. They're murderous. They have evil, malignant intent. Yet these balls are just normal. Normal baby balls. Please jump, Mega Man, please. My brain can't stop not knowing exactly when the jump is real. Do I just hold the button down to jump higher? I'm sorry, this is shareware as heck, dude. Please. All right. All right, yeah, please. This is like some Commander Keen nonsense. I can't believe I let this guy rube me. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're over here now. I could use Rush, the dog. I can't wait to die here and then have to start the whole level over. Oh, look at this goofus just coming. Man, 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 you gotta start all the way here. 
So this is like the room where you start this level. All right, let's actually try some of the gears now for this. The gear of war is the one I want to use most. Let's see if I can actually learn this game. Or if, uh, like so many things in life, it is not one's learning that matters. Welcome back to the Goblin Bunker. We're getting deep. Good old deep idiocy here. This game's only $30. Calvarox in reminds me of the Snow White game. It's not that bad. Again, little bit of a shareware vibe. Okay, so if you just hold the jump button down, you bounce. You don't actually have to tap it. I was expecting something more nuanced. I was expecting something more like Super Mario. So you have little jumps, or you have the big jumps. Who's excited about that new Super Mario Brothers U for the... Uh, Nintendo Switch. I actually want that really bad. I actually like that game, and I like Super Luigi U. I think it's really good. It has some visual problems. Just any sort of 2.5D platformer has the problems wherein uh, you can't sometimes tell where a platform begins and your feet end or whatever. I can't believe this guy punked me again. Okay. Alright. What?! This guy looks like some sort of scrubbing bubbles like thing with some teeth on him. Get your teeth off of my balloons. Oh, they're metal balloons. Hence their electrocution property. So I got all the way back to where I was. Yeah, I think that NSMB. Yeah, uh, Super Luigi U is legit a game. Right, give me that power gear, man. Oh, yeah, just stay down there, guy. You stay in there, Ronald McDonald. At the same time, I do want them dead. I don't want to just jump on the ladder without killing my friends. Oh, he got just, like, thrown against the wall. All right. So, wait, actually, hold on a second. Do you hear this? <laughs> do you hear this music? Um, isn't Mega Man... Am, am I, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but is Mega Man not renowned as having, like, great music? Let's listen, listen to this. Um, that's really not what I think when I think of Mega Man music. I can't believe that that's, I, I, I didn't even notice because I'm, I've got headphones on. Wait. Is this a thing the game actually wants me to do? This feels like, like an option room. Oh, I didn't actually have to use those in any nuanced way. It was more like, do this fast or this will annoy you. Okay, this, this room actually feels like something. Well, oh yeah. So if you like Mega Man, if you like what you see here, just head down to Big Lots. This game's available on floppy disk. For four ninety nine and a and a big paper sleeve. <laughs> Just go ahead. Get the get the big paper sleeve. I wish I could just stream video games all day because this is this is what it's like when I'm I'm not gonna make a video about this because I would be talking about big paper sleeve like she's <laughs> saying that over and over. This is what it's like when I'm when I'm like capturing the game to make a video. I'm just like I'm like silently thinking this stuff and I'm like oh that would be funny to say in a video and I feel kind of like I'm you know plotting some sort of serial murder or whatever it feels it feels very weird but here it kind of feels it feels dope it feels like like I'm uh like I'm actually uh you know having a good time <gasps> I have to hit that and use rush at the same time oh rush you punk no? <laughs> I want that life. I want that life. I want that life. Hold on. Wait, who's asking me about Costco? Do I know you? If you know me, tell me that you... Oh. I almost said for freak's sake, but I don't think that's an expression. All right. 
Do I need to double rush to get up here? You know what? <laughs> I hate this. I actually don't need the rush coil to get up here. I need the rush coil to get up there. But I'm all out of rush. This thing is harmless. It won't hurt me. Unlike most things in Mega Man. Oh, is that the best you can do? Big purple hand? Why don't you just hit me? Are we having fun yet? Um, yeah, Spiteful Crow, go check out a... Go check out your local Radio Shack. <laughs> Grab Mega Man 11. It's 4.99 at Big Lots. <laughs> How did I get up there? Look at that weird speckled Trapper Keeper looking background. I just want to get up there. I feel like I should be able to. <gasps> okay, hold on. Let's... We're just, we're just hanging around with a little bit of a video game here. Well, there it is. Some kind of a video game. <laughs> what, what inscrutable geometry textbook did these, did, did these, these people chance upon in their nightmare last night? Like... You gotta always look at a at a geometry textbook twice in your nightmare because it's different every time. Is is the insinuation I'm making here? I honestly do not know. Hold the jump button is what I had to do. Asking me, I never played a platformer before. Shut up! Don't ask me if I've never played a platformer before. I'm 39 years old and I played Super Mario Brothers in 1986. Okay, I know what I'm doing. You punk. Like, this game is inscrutable and it's weird. It's bad, okay? Oh, look at this big old frog. Okay, now that is hot. I'm sorry. Did you see that? You gotta slide under him. Slow him down. There you go. You wanna be my punk, child? Let go of me. Oh, he's just gonna grab me and jump at me. You know what? I could have used my E-Tank there. Oh, someone in the chat is saying the E-Tank. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. That frog owned. Okay, what should I do? Should I play another stage? I should probably go. I really want to... I really want to keep playing this because it's really funny to me. And it's like really, really funny. Before I go, what should I do? What should, what should I <laughs> One more stage. We want to see one more stage. Alright. What stage? We got Bounce Man, Acid Man, Fuse Man, Impact Man, Tundra Man. I want to do Tundra Man. What do you think? I need, I need a suggestion. Just tell me real quick. I'm going to die. I got a uh, Tundra Man? All right. I'm doing Tundra Man. Sorry. I got two Tundra Mans, so I'm doing Tundra Man. Tundra Man. Tundra Man is my friend. Tundra Man. More like Thundra Man if he's on a Tundra with electricity. What if there were robot things shaped like snowflakes? Is what the... Oh. Oh. This monitor is, this is really hard to see. This stage is very difficult for me to see with my eyes. Oh, I could have bought the spiked boots. Oh man, a stork just delivered me an ice baby. Oh man, my happy partner is a... Uh, I have none of the weapons. See, the whole idea with Mega Man is you just, you kind of hang out, you know? Oh god, are those spikes that are going to own me? Oh! <gasps> ah! Oh. As always with Mega Man, the... <laughs> it's depressing. This is like, this is just stepping on some rakes. The video game. Oh, there we go. 
Once you start to be able to do it, you finish to be able to do it. Am I writing a review for this game? No, Lord, no. I leave that to the people who write reviews. I don't write reviews. Because my opinion is just really good. Well, there we go. You want a review? Here's the review right here. I just don't like Mega Man games. And I think there's almost no video game liker who is uh, more pitiable to me than, than the one who just unapologetically loves Mega Man without interrogating any of its severe problems. I don't mean problems. It's, oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. So it's like, how can I pick this apart and say what's worse about it than another Mega Man game? I, so I feel like it's not... It's, it's Okay, the monitor I'm playing on, I just want to say it's really hard to see the ground. And that's not the game's fault. If I play on a TV, I'm sure it's much, much easier. This is where I should go in and turn the brightness down. All right. So are these little guys straight unkillable? Yeah, he's not. There's no way to kill that guy. There we go. There we go. I love Mega Man X. I mean, even it's not like a perfect video game. You know what game's better than every Mega Man game? Is... I honestly don't know what to do to that guy. I'm sure there's like some sort of weapon. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of weapon that they're weak to. Yeah, more like Mega Max Pain. What game's better than Mega Man? Than all the Mega Mans is, uh, yeah, Capcom's Aladdin on Super Nintendo. Oh my god. So the ice behavior in Mega Man has always been just kind of, kind of wild. Oh man, I'm having too good of a time. Okay. Oh, I missed the big bolt. I was hungry for that bolt burger. It's gonna kill that guy over there. Here's what we do, we kill him and we walk away. I'm not jumping over there. Take your own trash out, Grandma. Right? Oh, freak lord. Oh, should I slide under here with my big slide and then fall right into that monster? Is it Proto Man? Guard break. Oh, I got a big gear. Oh, crikey. I swear I pressed the jump button right as I fell. See, this is the kind of thing that Mega Man level design is full of that bugs me. Is this ladder is situated right here, right? Right? And it's like... Here we go. Let me get right to the edge. So, I jump and my head is going to bump on the ceiling and I just have to hold up as I fall. Up and left. So, look how unnatural this is going to look. Are you ready? I think this just doesn't look right. Right? That looks weird. That actually looks weird. I'm sorry. Okay, let's continue. It's like Mega Man level design is like full of little stuff like that. Stuff that... I mean, I don't want to just keep idolizing Mario. But it's like... On, on the other hand, yeah. Can't move now! Oh my god. I'm so bored by these guys. Jump, buddy. Before my gears overheat. Oh, 
crikey. Oh my god, I'm like loop on the third in the castle of Cagliostro here. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm starting to realize that the gears are okay as a design concept. Wait, wait, I should have rushed that. <gasps> oh, give me that cheese. I'm just like stuck in a corner here with nothing I can do. I didn't need this game to summarize my life. Man, him falling before the door closes. What? Are you hacking with me? What? I'm going to fall on that spike. Everybody. Oh. Energy tanks have to be purchased. I get it. Oh yeah, speed gear just gets you through the warm-up animation for it. Oh yeah, just yeah, just kill me. I don't like this guy. He's not cool. Oh, I have to kill his platform, not anything resembling his body. I guess I gotta buy those ice spikes, huh? A uh, me so sad, me want cry now. You know, I'm gonna use rush to get these power ups that I don't. No, I'm not actually. Give me that food. Feed my mega stomach. All right, let's kill this buddy boss again. I mean, again, let's kill him. Period. All right, I think I can do it this time. Crikey! He does this wind. I can't stay on the thing. He does this little bounce around at the end. It's honk town clown around. You want to clown with me? You're clowning with the best if you clown with me. Oh, man, I just got blown backward. I can slide under him when he does that. What? Some kind of a sound telling me. So what's going to happen is he's going to... Yeah, I have to, like, dance gingerly upon the icicle. Prance gingerly upon the stalactite, Mega Man. I'm going to eat that cheeseburger. Let's go back on this. All right. Get me on top of this thing. Prance gingerly. Now, come on. Come at me, bro. Oh, I should have slid. That was a situation for speed gear. No, he just... This thing closes his eyes, and then you can't actually fight him anymore. No, that actually just kind of killed me more. Hurt me more, punk. You got to be on top. Oh, did it look like he exploded into like a wall of hamburger blood there? That was weird. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to dash under him. It's it's These things are easier said than done when one is preoccupied with just the brain burger. That is, I'm sliding on ice constantly. It looks like I'm not very good at this video game. I'm going to tell you the truth. I play like 42 different video games a week. And every time I stream, it has to be a different game. I don't have time to get good at these video games, okay? I just got wind blowing up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it out loud for everybody to hear. Wind blowing at you in a video game is stupid. It would make you go slow. Now you have to deal with what it's like to go slower in one direction and faster in the other. Get out of town with that trash. Take your own trash out, Grandma, is what I say there. Alright, everybody. You dead? You dead? No? You get punked, punk. Okay, so, yeah, the wind is pretty good in Celeste. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Um, so I gotta slide 
And then I'm going to land on that platform and I got to jump. That seemed a little bit harsh. That seemed a little bit gross. Wind in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels was pretty good. Uh, welcome back, Mega Man. Don't tell me Have welcome key, back. Mega. So you can just like load up on extra lives. So this is how this game is supposed to be played. Um, they seem to have... Uh, I should have jumped after the slide. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I pressed the button and I swear it did not happen. Because there's a tiny window in which you can jump after the slide, but your feet are still on the ground. Game's very strict. Could have bought a beat call. Yeah, so the game here is all about you play the levels and when you lose, you come away with, with these bolts. Notice it goes to six figures, which is wild. They're expecting me to have 999,999 of them at some point. Oh, there's room on the platform to stand up? Yeah, but I was sliding. So, I mean jumping during the time that I was standing. Yeah, Liquid Sword 89, we were weirded out by the uh, first name basis thing going on here earlier. So yeah, you, you, you get these gears. It's kind of a novel concept. You get these gears. Should have held forward. Ah. Oh. Yeah, as Brent Porter points out, uh, in the demo, it's it seems like last second jumping is harder than in classic Mega Man. Yeah. Sounds like excuses. Yeah, you sound like a psycho. So, playing this video game, okay? It's not good. The game should get good, you punk. Yeah, it just kind of feels like there's some sort of weird lag, weird programming, some kind of a... I'm not jumping at the last second. But yeah, the game expects you to get a whole bunch of... Uh, these bolts. Kind of a novel concept for a Mega Man. Kind of a novel concept. So it's like uh, you you buy things. Increases the number of energy tanks you can hold. Oh no, uh, KC102. I am uh, I am not using a bank monitor. I'm using an old Dell. I'm using the Goblin Bunker old Dell. Is what I'm using. Oh yeah, this this shop has been in several Mega Man games, but look, they're just they're expecting you to buy all this stuff. Okay, Mega. I believe you are expected to buy a bunch of stuff like before every stage, unless you're some sort of a hardcore player. Like you're expected to just go shopping and load up on extra lives before you run into the. They give you, I mean, you know. Oh, Yo, Mega. Yeah. Okay. Yo, Mega. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Yo, Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? You want to interest me? Yeah, I get E tanks and beat. I okay, guess is Mega. basically what you get. Well, are you sure? Are you sure? Oh man, it's on no, so I have to like choose yes every time. Are you sure? Yeah, just keep giving me these. Already. Are you sure? So yeah, if you load up on these. So I was trying, I was really trying to go into that level to play this game and not be like spamming these energy tanks because I can beat Mega Man X without spamming some energy tanks. Uh, so we got some people want to see the uh, uh, the Japanese voiceover. Let's see, where is that? Wait, how do I? Yeah, no, you can't. I want to get out of here. Uh, I want to go home. Oh, okay. Let's go to the title screen. Save your current progress? Yeah, save it, man. Wow. I like how it re somewhat resembles the uh, old Mega Man password screens. Start or quit? See those options every morning. Language, alright. You wanna hear it? I wanna hear them in the store. Load my game, buddy. Alright, I just want to hear what she calls me. Is she going to call me Roku? Okay. He did not use any kind of first name with me. He just called me, uh... He just, uh... Told me that he's got stuff. So let's hear. 
ブロックどのアイテムを作るロック What item are you going to make? KC206 is asking about the album Come Along by Tatsuro Yamashita. Mahi Mahi Rider、uh, is the DJ on there. KI KI Honolulu. Got a call in segment from Maria Takeuchi who says, I am 17 years old now, which is what she says in there. Mahi Mahi Rider. I love Mahi Mahi Rider. That's enough talk about Tatsuro Yamashita, though. I could talk about that guy all day. Wait, I want to hear a big dude. Did he say Daska? He didn't say Deska, he said Daska. Someone asked, How's the game? Well, let me tell you. It's okay. You want to watch the opening cutscene in Japanese? Y'all are asking a lot, but let's do it. You know what? You're not asking a lot. Oh no. Get me out of here. Get me off this crazy thing. Exit the option of return to the title screen. Yeah. All right. We're going to listen to the intro. I don't want to save it. I guess I bought some stuff. Okay. So, we're going to listen to this. We're going to listen to this. Roku Man. Roku means six. In Japanese.、Uh, and Roku means rock. So. That's, uh. That's funny. So, who else here has to go to the bathroom? That's me. I have to go to the bathroom. We're just waiting. Is the frame rate on PC capped? That's actually a very good question. I'm not playing on a 144 hertz monitor, but I'm not going to lie. I will play this at home. I actually will play this at home. Beaver to Beaver, how you doing? Why do they call him Rock? They call him Rock because all the characters have a,、uh, uh, a music themed name. There's Rock, Bass, Forte, Roll. It's Rock and Roll. Roll was sort of designed to be some kind of a、uh, sidekick character, but ultimately she doesn't really have any sort of action place in the game. She just makes items out of nuts. Well, I'd be making a full fledged video on this. I'd die if I made a full video out of every game. I would, I would straight up die. This will have to suffice. If you would like, go through the stream and、uh, click that highlight button. Let me know what the best parts are. Can make a video out of that. Other than that, it's、uh, my videos are、uh, it's a lot of work. I have to sit and, and stare. And、uh, where's the. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It's not. Oh my god, I had to be on the screen that says start and quit in order to, to see the intro. We're here trying to see the intro in Japanese. So. I messed up though by being on the selection menu from which it will not quit to the attract mode. Here's where I wish I had my phone. I kind of want to see my phone. What's my favorite Mega Man game and why is it Legends 2?、Um, Metagloria asks. Metagloria, there is no Mega Man Legends 2. There is Mega Man Legends. All the games, it's, the series is one game in my opinion. Okay, I really need to see this in intro. It just quits to the intro from the title screen. I know it does. Beaver to Beaver asks Did they fix the lack of freezing in the air at Boss Doors? No, they did not.、Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay.、Uh -huh. ロボットの思考回路に関する研究に集中することとする。
Wow. So it's like there's like this room full of scientists decides all the science that will ever happen in the world, and they choose that this one guy who's allowed to uh, he wants to make robots with artificial intelligence. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, Urban Caribou points out that a man without a beard or a mustache must be called Mr., not Doctor. That is true. Likewise, the only reason to grow a beard is so that you will be called Doctor. And only by growing a beard can you become a doctor as a man. A woman can become a doctor uh, whenever she wants. You don't have to grow a beard. A man, though, has to grow a huge beard, and then immediately you're, you're called doctor. I don't make the rules, and I will never be a doctor. And that's a shame. And you know what? With all this talk of skull pajamas in the chat, I'm getting sleepy to go home and put on my own skull pajamas. Which is not going to happen because it's 3 p.m. What's my favorite anime? That's tricky. Because I like a lot of them. But I'm not like the biggest super anime fan. We're going to talk about that next time. I want you to show up in the next chat. And I will have a better answer prepared. Oh, Kaiji's good. I like Kaiji. It's not Kaiji though. Anyway. This was the end of my stream on Kotaku.com. If you enjoyed this stream. Well, there's going to be more. Because that's what we do. We're 100% a website that just streams video games. That's not true either. I would love to sit here and just keep trying to beat that block man stage because I know I can do it. I know that I can beat that block man stage because I was born stupid and uh, uh, however, I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Go talk to .com. Cowboy Bebop. No, I'm not going to New York Comic Con. Bye.